So we now able to understand that all the names that we call gods and the goddesses in ancient Egypt is actually different names, different divine power of the god that create the universe. And this different divine power manifested inside the universe and also manifested in ourselves. And we have to search about the way to stimulate and activate each name or each divine power. For example, Ra and Hathor in ancient Egypt. Ra in ancient Egypt mean, means um, the appearance one, the charismatic one, the most powerful one. So the God, the God that create universe in ancient Egypt, they called the God that created, and they say the God that created the universe, he is Ra. He is powerful God. He is charismatic God. He is shiny God. And also he put this power inside ourselves. So we able to be shiny like the God. We can able to most powerful like a God. We can able to have a great charisma like a God. But how can you reach to this position? You have to think. You have to look with a deep vision inside yourself. And you have to search about the power of the God, Ra, that manifested in the universe around you. So, Ra, if you activate the power of Ra inside yourself, you will be able to build your success story. You will be able to found and establish your legacy your glory in your life. This is the power of Ra, and this is what will do, what will you, you able to do with this power of Ra if you activate it inside yourself. You, you will can able to build your glory, your success, and so on. How can I activate the power of Ra inside myself? We have principles of Ra. We have color affected in ourselves, stimulate our power and our uh, uh, legacy and our charisma. <clears throat> we have a lot of stones, oils, and also we have very important planet, very important planet give us the power that we need to stimulate the power of Ra inside ourselves. The sun, when the sun rises in the horizon at the middle of the day, this sun full of kind of power in ancient Egypt called Hu. Hu in ancient Egypt means power of doing. Power of establishment. 
So each day you can receive the power of Ra from the sun. Each day you can receive the power of Ra from red color. Each day you can receive the power of Ra from different kind of precious stones. Each day you can smell a kind of oils, activate and stimulate the power of Ra inside yourself. So we have a lot of things able to activate Ra inside ourselves. And also follow the principles of Ra, of Ra in ourselves. So this is Ra. And this is the power of Ra, and this is the this is the power of Ra that will you benefit from it if you activate and discover power of Ra inside yourself. You will be able to build your glory and success. About Hathor, power of love, mercy, calm, joy and everything you wish in your emotional level in your life. How to feel with peace, calm, and joy, and love, and happiness in your life. You have to follow the seven principles of Hathor to be happy in your life, to feel with calm in your life. You have to follow and gain the color of Hathor. Hathor has several colors that support you and stimulate your feeling with love and peace. Hathor has planet in the sky. When this planet is the nearest point from the earth affected in your feeling and support you with a lot of love, peace, and calm. Venus planet. Venus planet, each day at the morning before sunrise, if you woke up early, before sunrise, this is the most powerful time to receive the power of love and mercy and peace of Hathor from the planet Venus. This is knowledge from ancient Egypt. You can receive the power of Hathor inside yourself and activate the power of Hathor inside yourself from several stones. Look like uh, turquoise of Sinai. This turquoise called in ancient Egypt mefikat. Mefikat means the kind of a stone that activates peace and the calm inside yourself. So we have a lot of things. We can follow it to activate what we call Hathor goddess inside ourselves. A lot of animals look like cat, look like cow, able to activate the power of Hathor inside ourselves and enter the happiness and the calm and peace to ourselves. <clears throat> there are a two famous Gods from ancient Egypt, two powerful, divine powerful names of the God inside ourselves, inside the universe, manifested in the universe, Petah and Sekhmet. Petah, the power of creativity, power of establishment, power of intelligence, power of creation. So how can be a clever one? How can I be a creative one? How can I be 
establisher and influencer to the other by my ideas. How you can able to activate the power of petah inside your mind. Just follow the principle of petah. Petah has seven principles. If you follow this principle as a style life, you will activate your left and the right loop and you will able to be a creative one with creative ideas. <clears throat> Segment, power of healing, self-healing. Power of strength, stability, and so on. So you can stimulate the power of petah, power of segment, from several sources in the universe. From blue, blue colors, the stones that take a blue colors from some symbols, look like symbol of female lion. It make your brain, make neuro-linguistic programming, so you can able to be more active, more clever, and from a kind of a stone, um, Alabaster stone. Alabaster stone has very energetic waves able to make clarity, clear our vision, clear our mind, to able to think with clever way and make a lot of ideas. So lotus flower also activate that so we have a lot of sources to activate beta and segment power inside ourselves. Osiris and Isis. Osiris and Isis, the power or divine power of the God inside ourselves that make us more stable in our life, more eternal, in our life, more uh, success in our life, more charismatic in our life. So Osiris means stability, eternity. Isis means success, position, charisma. So all these <coughs> qualities we can stimulate and activate inside ourselves with several teachings, several principles of Osiris and the Isis, several ceremonies, several oils, with several buildings, look like Fila Temple, the Great Pyramid of Khufu, can stimulate and solve everything in our physical body, the remedies of this uh, uh, pyramid, able to heal our physical body. So we have a lot of symbols, a lot of stones, a lot of uh, uh, um, ceremonies, and so on to activate Osiris and the Isis power inside ourselves. Finally, thought and mind. How to be wise man, knowledgeable man, balanced man, trust man, all the things. Thought has teachings, the emerald tablet of thought. And Ma'at has 20, 24, 42, 42 Ma'at law, 42 law of Ma'at. 
So we have principle of ma'at, we have principle of thought. We have to follow this principle in our style life. We have animals influencing us, inspired us. Look like ibis, look like baboon, look like ostrich feather. We have a lot of oils, stones, stimulate that. We have a lot of planets, moon, and inspire us to activate the energy and the power of thought and mind inside ourselves. So I started to collect all these pieces. I start to collect all the pieces with more details and start to make it in one course. This course has 10 lectures and I will for first time to teach this course with English language. I teach this course many, many times with Arabic for Egyptian friends, but this is the first time to start to teach this course in English language in 10 lectures by details, speaking about every step, symbols by details, pyramids by details, temples by details, principles of the gods and the goddesses by details, oils and the stones by details, and everything in 10 lectures by details. So I will make my offer and the date of the course at WhatsApp group. And if you want to join the course, I will start the next uh, week the first lecture of the course and I will be happy if you all join with me in this course. And this is the end of my presentation today and hope uh, that it's useful and it's valuable from your point of view and I will be happy uh, to listen your answers, uh, your questions now. If you have any questions,